All right, guys, three successful high percentage chokes when you do them properly and when you do them on a 57-year-old brown belt. Move number one, you start with the seatbelt grip. You're always gonna open and try to grab the lapel. Here, the option there for him though is to block that lapel, not by grabbing my hands, but grabbing his own lapel. Sometimes it'll even get really deep and I can't grab it with my thumb. See that? So I'm gonna let go here, grab my own and reach around. And just this motion right here tightens up everything so well that I don't really have to do anything else with this hand. I can just come back and tap. Sometimes, if you want the extra security, you can reach under and grab, no problem. Move number two. I reach across and I do get the lapel, but it's sucky. See that? Crummy, sucky, grip so low, there's no way I'm ever gonna get this to work without something magical. And that's what I'm gonna show you, something magical. Check it out. Roll to the side. Open your leg, the bottom leg first. Take this one and pull his hip open so you can pull it back. Take this and put it behind the knee. So I got a hook behind the knee. This hook behind the knee is gonna help roll him to the side. Not kick him, because I don't want him to take off on me. I want to just push him to the side so he can't roll away from me. And then I'm gonna sit up here, knee high, right against the head. Step over to the mouth, pull him back to the back with a high back over the shoulder and then squeeze. All that extra leverage makes a crummy, sucky grip magical. Move number three. He's already been choked a million times by me, so he's not even gonna let me have access to a lapel. He has my hands down here super low. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna grab this lapel of his. Down low enough, it doesn't threaten him at all. Palm down, get a nice tight grip. Bring him to his side. I'm gonna open my guard, letting him escape. He turns his hips to escape. I'm going to sit up, grab the knee, squeeze the head at the same time with my shoulder. Okay? Then I'm going to let the material slide out of my hand until it feels like I'm going to choke him with it, with the material. It takes a little practice. Then you're going to turn, and then you're going to drop your head, raise your butt. All right? 